Retrenchment lump sum packages have always been identified by code 3901 on an IRP5 and have always been taxed and treated the same as code 3915 lump sums received at actual retirement. This has always meant that the first 500,000 of the retrenchment lump sum has been tax free and the balance taxed at the tiered retirement benefit tax tables. Early in 2018, SAS began asking employers to stipulate on directive application forms for cases of retrenchment packages whether the retrenchment is voluntary or involuntary. The income source code for amounts paid out in both cases is still 3901 on the IRP5, but the amounts will be taxed differently. If the retrenchment amount paid out is the result of a voluntary retrenchment, then SAS wants the code 3901 amount on the IRP5 to be treated and taxed as normal income according to normal tax tables, just like taxable salary and taxable fringe benefits. These code 3901 voluntary retrenchment amounts should be entered into Wintax as code 3601 or at least until SAS comes up with a different code. If the retrenchment amount paid out is the result of an involuntary retrenchment, then the code 3901 amount on the IRP5 is treated and taxed as if it was a code 3915 lump sum paid out at normal retirement. It will be taxed according to retirement benefit tiered tax tables and should be entered into the retirement or death column on the lump sum extra detail screen in Wintax where the first 500,000 rand of the lump sum will be tax free and the balance taxed at tiered rates. If the taxpayer received other lump sums in the same tax year or in past tax years then SAS's accumulative lump sum laws may apply.